I'm Jenny and you are live with News Round this historic coronation weekend. We'll bring you the highlights from the ceremony, street parties and concert. Check out this super cute leopard cub in Happy News. Hello again, I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Across the country, people have been marking the coronation of King Charles III. There have been street parties, a big concert featuring pop star Katy Perry and the Muppets, and of course, the main coronation ceremony itself, which took place in Westminster Abbey on Saturday. Here's what happened. They came from all over the world the young and the not so young, to be part of something that hasn't happened for 70 years. Many people waited several hours to see the crowning of a new king. And even a weather forecast of rain wasn't going to put them off. And here he is, King Charles III is behind me in his jubilee carriage. As you can hear, the crowd is going wild. He's left his house of Buckingham Palace and he's accompanied by the Queen Consort. They'll make the long trip down the mile to Westminster Abbey and the crowds are already cheering as he passes. This is the moment he's waited his whole life for, not knowing when it will happen. Well, today is the day. He's joined by a procession made up of the armed forces and important royal members of staff who accompany him on the long walk to the Abbey. King Charles has arrived to a fanfare of music here at Westminster Abbey. He's joined, of course, by the Queen Consort, Camilla, and he's about to enter into Westminster Abbey wearing a white and red velvet robe. This is the moment he's been waiting for for 70 years and you may be able to make out Prince George, his grandson, who is also here, one of the page boys, helping him into Westminster Abbey. And now the coronation officially begins. The people inside the Abbey have all received special invites to come and see this historic ceremony. It includes representatives from the Commonwealth states, as well as presidents and members of royal families from around the world. Nine-year-old Prince George, who's second in line to the throne, also had a part to play in Westminster Abbey. He was joined by other grandchildren of the King and Queen Camilla. After a royal proclamation, King Charles said an oath which is another word for an important promise. I solemnly promise so to do. And then in the most sacred part of the ceremony, screens were put up so that he could be anointed with a special oil. <laughs> then he sat down in the coronation chair, which kings and queens of England have been crowned on since the 13th century. King Charles was dressed in a gold cloak handed the sovereign orb, coronation ring and scepters before the crowning moment that people had been waiting for. The Archbishop placed the crown on the King's head and the Westminster Abbey bells rung for this historic moment. God save the King! God save the King! Around the UK, gun salutes were heard from Edinburgh to Belfast. King Charles then took to his official throne and his son, William, knelt before him as the Prince of Wales. Queen Camilla was then also crowned and enthroned next to Charles. And the new King and Queen left the Abbey to cheers and applause. So there you go, the start of a new chapter for the royal family as King Charles and Queen Camilla leave Westminster Abbey now in that gold state coach behind me. 
and they head towards Buckingham Palace, which is where the final part of today's coronation celebrations will take place. Crowds are cheering, as you can hear, this is the moment all these people have been waiting for. King Charles III has come out onto the balcony of Buckingham Palace and he's waving at the crowds below, some of whom have been waiting here for hours for this historic moment. Thousands of people, hours of processions and what a way to finish. The Red Arrows performing their spectacular fly pass to welcome in a new era. Well, the coronation celebrations didn't stop there. On Sunday, people were encouraged to step outside and join their family, friends and neighbours to eat together as part of the big coronation lunch. We sent a graph to get a taste of the action and we might have accidentally told him there would be a big royal guest attending. Whoops. Oh, uh, OK, this is awkward. Um, look, I promise you, I'm not just sat here eating loads of food. In fact, I'm here at a big lunch street party and I'm going to show you guys the Coronation Street Party vibes. Follow me. <laughs> guys, this looks absolutely incredible. What's going on today? Uh, we're having a picnic to celebrate King Charles's coronation. Ah, uh, this food looks incredible. What have you got on display? Scones and cupcakes. Um, sandwiches and fruits. Sandwiches and fruit. I can't lie, everything here looks absolutely amazing. I need your help on a mission that I'm on today. I'm trying to find a special guest who should be here any minute now. Do you know where I can find him? Um, I think he's arriving from over there somewhere. Over there? Right, I'm, I'm going to go find him. Thank you so much for your help, guys. Catch you later. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, so here we've got um, a replica of King Charles III sitting on his royal throne from um, the swing in our back garden. How on earth did you guys put this together? So we've got some pillows to use as his belly and we've got a football for his head. Some toy snakes for his leg and we've got some cute little corgis sat on his lap. I see you've got some very fantastic looking nails. Talk me through them. Because Mum painted them red, white and blue. So we're here with our friends. We're going to go in the hall and do have my face paint. I need your help. I'm on the lookout for a special royal guest who's meant to be here. Do you know where I can find him? Um, he might be over there somewhere. Over there somewhere? I'll go take a look. Thank you so much for your help. Where is he? He's over there. Oh, that's what they meant. Well, even though it isn't the real King Charles, I've still had some royal fun today. Have you enjoyed yourself today? Yes. High five. I had a graft, I feel for you. Now there's just enough time for happy news with Nina. Starting at this week's Happy News with a hot air balloon race high above the skies in Kentucky, USA. This is a yearly event that leads up to the big Derby Day where they have a massive festival for everyone to enjoy. Just imagine the views you get up there. I'm glad it wasn't raining. Sticking with the festival vibes now, how about this 10 day light festival that took place in the city of Petra in Jordan? They lit up this historic monument, offering visitors a unique experience. They even made some of the artwork 3D. Looks pretty enlightening, wouldn't you say? Lastly, it wouldn't be happy news without something super cute. So here's a little baby leopard cub that is only a month and a half old. It had strayed into a town but was rescued by the local forest department. The priority was to make sure that the mother could find its cub and return to the forest together. Thanks, Nina. That leopard cup. Well, that's all from the bank holiday team. Remember, there's loads more online. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.